like it is technically public information, someone's address, but the act of doxing is publishing it with the intent of like people seeing it. And that's what you did to me, right? Yeah. Okay, so I really don't know where to start with this video. There is so much information I have to give you guys, so much that I have actually been forced to lie about and omit. And this just goes so deep and so crazy. And I, it, it's a lot. I really encourage you, if you're invested in the Jessica and Eve story and saga, to watch to the end of the video, listen to every detail, and just, 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 just wait. This is insane. So let's start with the obvious. I was doxxed by Jessica Yaniv. If you don't know what doxing is, it is maliciously posting someone's address and or phone number with the intent of them being harmed. This happened after my debate with Jessica, where obviously Jessica was humiliated. But we all know that part by now, yada yada. I did a live stream talking about it in which Jessica denied it, and I spoke to Jessica's agent. It's the agent. It's the agent, everyone. So yeah, Blair, I, I do want to tell you that I do uh, represent uh, yeah, Jessica Yaniv, formerly you, known as Jonathan Yaniv. Jessica posted on her Twitter that she was contacted by a well-known documentarian who was making a documentary about Jessica and that Jessica couldn't speak on any more matters unless it was through their agent. Here's where the story gets absolutely insane. I know who the agent is. In my live stream, if you were watching, I spoke to the agent and we were arguing back and forth. I was talking crap about the agent and just genuinely was very hostile towards the agent. That was actually an act. I was in contact with the agent the entire time. This agent is actually someone who convinced Jessica to work, quote unquote, with him in order to record phone calls in which Jessica admits to illegal activity. By going live where Jessica was watching me argue with the agent over the phone, that actually increased Jessica's trust in the agent and allowed the agent to collect more information about Jessica. This was all an elaborate scheme for myself and the agent to get Jessica to admit to harming young girls and doxing me. And we did it. Here's the first thing Jessica admitted to, which was doxing me. Right, so like it is, technically public information, someone's address, but the act of doxing is publishing it with the intent of like people seeing it. And that's what you did to me, right? Yeah. Right. So you doxed me. And I feel, and I, and Blair, I do feel really bad about it. You know, what, what, what I do want to say is, you know, I have had severe, severe medical issues. just the doxing. And needless to say, my life has been a bit of a whirlwind since the doxing. I've had to, you know, put in place a bunch of security measures. No one's allowed up to my apartment right now. Actually, as of last night, someone showed up to my apartment complex, spoke to security in the front, claimed to know me, and was so persistent that they were a friend that was coming to visit me that security called me but it actually was not a friend. It was someone highly intoxicated, probably got drunk on Hollywood Boulevard, came over. Like it was, it's something now I have to deal with. And I just moved here, which really sucks because I don't want to have to move. Thank Jessica. Now here's where things get really interesting. You guys know it is my goal to get Jessica locked up. That is my goal. With everything that I've been doing, I just want Jessica locked up. There is no community and no individual that has benefited in any sort of way by Jessica Yaniv being out on the street. Jessica needs to be in jail. Now again, I've been speaking to this agent who I'm in cahoots with that's been lying to Jessica, right? This agent told me very clearly, very concisely that they have had recorded admissions by Jessica to illegal action with underage girls. This agent told me that they had gone to the police with these receipts, with the recorded admissions by Jessica, but that the police wouldn't take the recordings and wouldn't even listen or even let him give them the proof because of Jessica's history of lying. Now, I find that incredibly hard to believe. Now, you guys know I am not a fan of the way the legal system works in Canada or of the laws, but I feel like it's a bit hard to believe that someone going to the police saying, hey, I have proof that this person is a predator and has actually admitted to illegal action with underage girls, that the police wouldn't take it at all. Since then, this agent has become extremely shady, and I personally believe that, you know, he has these admissions, but he's holding on to them 
because he doesn't want the subject of his documentary, Jessica, to be put in jail just yet because he wants to film with Jessica for the documentary. I don't care about this documentary. I care about Jessica being put behind bars. Every day that Jessica is not in jail is a day that Jessica can harm someone. And for this agent to be prioritizing his documentary over putting Jessica away is awful. So that is why I'm outing this agent. You, sir, know that you have recorded proof of Jessica admitting to these actions with these underage girls. You've gone through Jessica's Facebook and Jessica's Twitter DMs personally. Jessica gave you the passwords. You know you have enough proof to put Jessica away. Do it. I genuinely appreciate you getting me the recorded proof of Jessica admitting to doxing me, but I do not appreciate that you are holding on to the proof of Jessica harming young girls the admissions, and not taking it to the police. I don't believe you took it to the police. So again, I know this story is a lot to take in. It gets crazier and crazier every day. Trust me, I'm living it. I contacted the police in Canada to report that Jessica and Eve had doxxed me with the malicious and express intent of me being harmed, and they told me to contact the Hollywood police. So that's what I did. I went to the Hollywood police department this morning. All right, so I'm at the Hollywood police station. I contacted the Langley police, which is where Jessica lives in Canada, and they told me to contact the Hollywood police first, so that's what I'm doing. Uh, so, so far I have an admission of guilt to maliciously doxing me on Jessica's Twitter, as well as a phone conversation I had with Jessica. Now, I also have a folder of just, you know, receipts and screenshots um, that hope to paint the picture that this is some criminal harassment going on, Jessica threatening to show up at my meet and greet, um, you know, I'm not scared of Jessica at all. I don't want to paint the picture that I'm just like some poor little victim scared of Jessica and Eve. That's not it at all. I simply think that society would be better off with Jessica behind bars. And I think that, you know, if it takes Jessica getting in trouble for this rather than all the other things that I think Jessica should get in trouble for, I'm willing to, um, go to the police about it. So yeah, I will let you guys know what the police say, what happens, uh, in a bit. So the result of this trip to the Hollywood police station was a complete joke. The police in Hollywood are absolutely just, honestly, they're not very competent. I'm just going to say that. They told me there's nothing they can do and they advised me to contact the FBI. So that's the next step. I'm going to the FBI because I actually have been doxxed in the past and the FBI did go and visit the person who doxxed me. So I know that that actually is an avenue that will work. But what's interesting is I told the police about my fear of being swatted and no one in the police station even knew what swatting was. I find it very hard to believe that they have no idea what swatting is when all these YouTubers and celebrities that it happens to live here in Hollywood. I just, that part was really annoying to me. But regardless, the takeaway of that is that I'm actually going a step above and I'm going straight to the FBI. And personally, I don't understand why Jessica has been skating the law in the way Jessica has. I don't understand why there have been zero repercussions for anything Jessica does. We have Jessica on camera committing several crimes already. One, just a few days ago, assaulting a rebel media reporter out in the public on camera. Go away. You're gonna assault me? Go away. Huh? Go away. I think Why go are you? Now. Huh? Go away. Are you go away. Me? You go away. That's assault. Go away. Okay, that's the go second away. shot. Did you see that, sir? Go Two, brandishing an illegal taser on my live stream, which actually did get Jessica arrested. Where? You know, what? I don't need to be, I don't need to be scared of my own house that I'm going to get talked and I'm going to which is illegal in Canada to send. But do you think that was like cute? Was that a moment for you? But it's probably unprecedented in Canada, at least I've heard. The police went, searched Yaniv's home, put Yaniv in a cell, then released Yaniv, and there were no charges. I don't know how and why, but apparently Jessica just keeps escaping repercussions. So again, I don't know what it's gonna take, but I hope what it takes is me outing this agent because I know this agent has recordings and has gone through Jessica's Facebook where all those incriminating messages happened and seen firsthand all the messages, okay? Agents, give those to the police. I know you haven't given them to the police, do it. Because as of right now, you not giving up those recordings and that proof, you are helping and abetting Jessica and Eve. And every day you don't give those recordings to the police, Someone else can be harmed by Yaniv. I hope to not make any more like main channel edited full videos about this. I'll probably update you guys in live streams and stuff. So pay attention to that, I guess. And this has been just a lot and there's still a lot more to go. Like I said, I'm contacting the FBI. I'm going through all that. Jessica Yaniv needs to be put away. So Mr. Agent, just do it. So that is it for today's video, you guys. I love you. Stay tuned for the next video. 
follow me on all my socials comment below i'll be in the comments definitely for this one and i'll see you in the next video bye guys Thank mm -hmm. you.